more than 41 million people visit Las Vegas each year. The city of neon lights is a major attraction for tourists from across the world, mainly for gambling, entertainment, and of course, this day for tying the knot. I was married a couple times, but this one is a keeper. Go! I love, I love you, you for all you are. are. <laughs> yeah. This is my fourth wedding. I want to waste. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Since the first wedding in 1909, nearly five million people have said I do within these glittering borders. We're getting ready to get another couple married. <laughs> they say marriage is not to be entered into lightly. I need alcohol. But in Vegas, anything goes. You're a hunk of hunk of burning love. <laughs> a hunk of hunk of burning love. Yes! So from the lavish to the low key, stylish to contemporary. I'm gonna lose it, but don't lose it. Come on, hold it together. <laughs> there really is no place quite like Las Vegas to get hitched. I'm BJ and I am 61 years old and we were originally from Los Angeles and we moved to Vegas three years ago. I am an automotive journalist. I'm Scott, I'm a still photographer. I will be 62 years old this year and this is going to be our 25th wedding anniversary and we eloped to Las Vegas to get married. We're going to get remarried at the same chapel we got married and luckily it's still there. Our nicknames are, what do you call me? What do you call me? Honey Bunny. Honey Bunny, I call you HP. <laughs> Honey Bunny, I call you Bootsy Bear. Yeah. I call you Bootsy. What's the secret to our marriage? Don't fight. <laughs> so I love you. We say it all the time. All the time. All the time. In morning, noon, and night. On what do we phone. say? What do we say? Uh, anytime we leave the house to go we, on an errand. Yep. I said, when we get married, it's once, that's it. That's we right. just get married one time, so you're stuck with me, whether you like me or not. So that's, I think that's kind of stuck, huh? That's true. Should I make a BJ salad? Do a BJ salad. All right, that's I know you exactly like That's exactly right. I think this is still okay. Mm, I would not, no. I don't think that's going to be good. I don't think so. Okay, come on. Come on. No, come fresh on. made does not have any preservatives in it. She's become a very good cook. Yeah. Compared to what, you know, boiling water <laughs> used to be, so. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I wouldn't it's try it. It's just mayonnaise and... Uh, I wouldn't try it. Come on. No, I wouldn't so try it. So when do we have it? Yeah, okay. Here. You could cook a little more. I could cook. <laughs> you could cook a little more. <laughs> well, that's probably... I think BJ and Scott, personality-wise, are absolutely electric. Both of them are. Let's get through Keep that promise. the next week, just like I say, right? No, no, <laughs> this, is not, this, is, this is not a get through. They've made it 25 years in a crazy world that we live in. Get through the next week, I don't think so. Homie, don't just play that. Just tell me where I gotta be, what I gotta do. Haven't I always? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've spent so much time together, yeah. we got this actually know each other. Yeah. I love these pasta bowls. Remember They're... what I paid for them? What? How much I paid for my pasta bowls. I don't know. Yes, you do. I told you a hundred times. I think that as a couple, they've really worked off each other in a really nice way. Not unlike ourselves. He, he's quiet and I talk a lot. Well, you're the designated talker. Right? <laughs> We're comfortable with each yeah, other. Yeah, it's just he's just the one. Okay. That's that's all there is to it. You know, even if we never got married, we'd still be together. Be not having kids has been a lot of fun. Yeah, with us because we're the cool people. We're sort of the yeah. rent the kids. Uh -huh. Okay, we have a lot of friends that don't have it kids has. too. But I help my when my sister passed away. We helped raise my niece a little bit. They come over. Mm -hmm. We teach them. What a sandwich Far was, stuff, what yeah. a BLT is. Tell them how to cook. We're pretty even keel. We don't, you know, we didn't have kids. So right. it's not like we ever fought over children. You know, we never fought over money. Remember we paid for your nephew to yeah. go to college too a little bit and helped him out. And That's true. We're the cool people. Yeah. I remember one time coming here with my daughter 
Barbie and Scott were just absolutely wonderful, loving, warm, and they are that way. What's Another you? good BJ salad. <laughs> we don't really the kind that plan our future, yeah. do we? We just kind of let it happen. We've had a, true. a very fortunate life. Things have been very good for us, being together wherever we are, yeah. and that's what it's about. For 25 years, that's pretty good. I'm Erica. Um, I'm 37, right? Yeah, yes. 30, just now. Recently. 37. I'm Steve. I'm also 37. We've been together for about a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah, yep, I think the math is correct on yeah. that. So we met about 18 months ago yes. at a burlesque show. We made eye contact a few times and mm. you like smiled at me and I think that's really what set it off. Yeah, you were standing by the door, and I thought you had a very cute mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I've known Erica for 10 years, and I remember she was really smitten. She just like was all kind of gushy, and she kept talking about how like sweet and cute and thoughtful he was. I'd heard her be excited about other people before, but she was especially excited about this guy. And right off the bat, I felt like he was really sweet, wasn't he? Yeah, like, he was a really, really nice guy and very, um, very supportive of her. One thing that I really remember her describing was like the nerdy cute vibe, which like I'm kind of into the nerdy cute vibe a little bit. So, uh, <laughs> was, which I support totally. It's, it's great. It's great. I'm really glad she does. Yeah, they like really gelled. She always had that, like, a sweet little giggly smile. Yeah. A little bit, too. A lot of smiling. I, I probably looked like that when we got engaged. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, doing a solo performance, and she was in a, a group number. Yeah, in a group number. And we just kind of yeah. met backstage, waiting for our turns to go on stage. And that's how it started. He's done the burlesque things before. He's told me I met this girl dancing and stuff. And it didn't surprise me that he met her at one of those functions. And I was like, awesome, you met somebody that's into stuff you are. So I totally know about Steve and his burlesque dancing. I was pretty um, pretty surprised when I met him. Good on him. It, totally. Good I'm on all him. about it. Yeah. The actual dating process, I was like, I'm starting to care about her a lot here. So I'm like, all right. Mm -hmm. The signs and the feelings of love started to like bubble inside. I think it took me about three months to like start to hint that I love you. I guess I was a little bit surprised when I found out that Erica was getting engaged. If she says she's not the marrying type, which I do remember her saying, she's still like a hopeless romantic. It seems, and it seems like they're really, really happy together in that way of just being together. We were looking at some rings and you were like, I like Aquamarine, because that's your birthstone. True, I'm a very big hint dropper. Very, which so. is great, I love it. I found one that I thought was really cute. I bought a bouquet of roses and I stuck it in one of the rows and gave it to her and she was ecstatic. I definitely cried. Yeah. And then I asked him, what does this mean? <laughs> what did it mean, Steve? What did it mean? It's mean, it, it was meaning. <laughs> It meant that I wanted to commit myself to you. He said, it means I love you very much. And I said, I'm going to tell people we're engaged now. That's pretty much That's it. That's what it meant to me. And I didn't refuse, so.
Having lived in Las Vegas for the last four years, BJ and Scott have grown accustomed to the alternative entertainment available off the strip. And it's race day at Motorway Speedway, and the couple are taking in some of the action. That was crazy. <laughs> That's just barely starting. I one. Well, we do, we do have a shared interest. It's always been automotive. I want to go see the Chevy. Oh, the 57? Yeah. She grew up liking cars. Her father taught her about cars. I always liked hot rods. Ended up working at Hot Rod Magazine. Ended up meeting my wife at the magazines. Scott and I first met he noticed me before I noticed him because we were working at Motor Trend Magazine. Actually, I heard her first. <laughs> yeah. What was your favorite race? Was the one where uh, Davey Allison was doing My favorite race somebody? was the last one I was at. <laughs> <laughs> Cop out. I'm like, who the hell is that person yelling all the time at everybody? And my boss at the time said, oh, that's BJ. That's, she does that all the time. What, who do you want to shoot? The four want wide. I want, I want to be in the stands and get that four wide. The whole thing is about four wide. Scott seems so quiet, and Barbie is so out there. That's what I really liked when I heard her barking orders. I think I fell for you first yeah, because think... he was adorable. He really was. He had a lot more hair back then, but he had a dark <laughs> mustache, and he was thin and trim and... The arms. I think, I think that's what got me, the Popeye arms. He's got from holding <laughs> 50 pounds of cameras all the time. Yeah, we actually never really dated. No. We literally worked together 20-hour yeah. days for three months. And at the end of that, we went home and just kind of moved in. So we were stuck with me. <laughs> After a morning spent at the races, this afternoon, BJ and Scott head to their wedding venue, where they got married 25 years ago. It's a big day for both BJ and Scott's renewal service and Steve and Erica's wedding in Las Vegas. While BJ and Scott travel to Chapel of the Flowers for a site visit before their sunset wedding, Steve and Erica are preparing for their Phantom of the Opera style wedding by taking in the alternative sites of Vegas. I guess the biggest question that was asked is, why do we choose Vegas? We were just trying to figure out where we could find a place to... You actually found... I found it. Uh, Viva Las Vegas Wedding Chapel. My name is Ron Dakar. I'm one of the owners of Viva Las Vegas Wedding Chapel in fabulous Las Vegas. I'm on the creative end, unfortunately for me. I get to do all the fun stuff in front of the audience. Jamie, my partner, is the behind the scenes guy that keeps everything going. He's a firefighter outer. Olivia, what are they coming and what's the scoop? Yeah, they're getting in a building. You can do any kind of event that you might want. The most popular in a traditional mode would be the Forevermore, which is a large indoor wedding. In an Elvis mode, the Elvis pink Cadillac is definitely the top of the line and the one that people would choose the most. Thank you very much. As far as a themed wedding, strong contenders are a gothic with either Dracula or the Grim Reaper presiding over the ceremony in a cemetery setting, or gangster, or maybe... The name is Paul. James Paul. Those kind of themes. Anything associated with weddings, we do. What really sold was that one of their packages mm -hmm. was Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. Which she really likes Phantom of the Opera. I do. At that point, we were, we yeah, were, we were sold, sold on that. <laughs> Absolutely sold. I'm not totally sure what, uh, what to expect of the wedding. I know Steve has been into that burlesque and the masquerade shows for a long time now. I know they'll have fun with it, and that's the main thing. I think since we're kind of theatrical, kind of dramatic, yeah, kind of extra, <laughs> extra. Our, <laughs> our wedding is 
definitely going to be a good fit and will reflect yeah. us. Yeah. Costume. Dramatic, over the top. Romantic. Um, romantic. Very romantic. Mm. <laughs> This afternoon is going to be our phantom type of wedding with the singers and the fog and the lights and it's probably our most romantic wedding because you've got the couple up there singing a duet and the big beautiful dress and the cape and the, you know, all that kind of stuff. With the chapel being very busy and Steve and Erica having such an elaborate ceremony, everything needs to run like clockwork. That's if the couple even turn up. When it comes to being late, my staff will they let them be as late as possible. I'm the one who walks up and goes, because, and there's a reason for that, because if you've got five more brides that night and that one wedding has made you late, you have five brides who are mad at you. As bad as it can be, I'd rather have the one bride who's late than have my next five brides late mad at me, because it's not fun. If Steve and Erica arrive too late, they could miss their slot, and worse, postpone the wedding altogether. The chapel now, right? Yeah, we'll go ahead see your chapel. Great. You can paint the vision. And now, it's the same chapel you got married at. Right? Yeah, you were married here 25 years yes, ago yeah, we in were, the Victorian. So, yep. I think okay. so. What were the other, was that the only chapel here, or were there other ones? The Victorian was our original chapel. Yeah, I think that's it the one we got married here. So yeah, and since good. then we've renovated and added on. Yes, it doesn't look it looked like this 25 years ago. <laughs> Our mission here is to help each couple who wants to celebrate everlasting love, celebrate everlasting love. When you're consumed by your mission as a company and you are here and you're promoting that to the team members and then you experience it on a daily basis, how can you not love love? There you go, well, well. With my role, I am overseeing the day of operation. So basically, all of the weddings that come through, the teams that are servicing the weddings on a daily basis, I help oversee those teams and make sure that they are on point. Congratulations. The chapel that's been here the longest is the Victorian Chapel. And that one is probably the most traditional and the one that people really think about when they think of a, a little white chapel on the Las Vegas Strip. Because it is truly the white chapel at the front of the property right on the Strip. I think marriage is important for a lot of people, whether it's being able to say that they have got this legal commitment and then they get to breach that 30, that 40, that 50 year anniversary and they are showing to their families that having that commitment to one another and that love that no matter what life brings that they can get through it, I think that's a pretty awesome thing. So, sorry, <laughs> I get choked up. But Christmas morning, uh, we were opening presents. It was just you and me, and uh, this is tough. I'm so sentimental. <laughs> this is exactly where we were. We were opening gifts, and Scott said, wait, there's one more gift. And it was my um, ring, and he proposed to me on Christmas morning. Okay. Now this looks familiar. Wow, yeah, this is where we were 25 yeah. years ago. Yeah, this looks the same, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, sure does. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. All right, so um, you proposed to me in the Christmas 93, right? Mm -hmm. And in January of 94, my little sister passed away. She was my best friend. And so after she passed away, um, I decided I didn't want to have a big wedding without her. And here we are. Oh, yes, we haven't been here for 25 it. years. Huh? <laughs> wow. 25 years, babe. I thought it was bigger. <laughs> That's how I remember it, I guess. No, huh? this is yeah. it. Since we like Las Vegas so much, we decided to elope to Vegas because yeah. it was always a fun place for us. They're going to make us cry again, aren't they? Oh, they're much. terrible. <laughs> Don't make me do that anymore. <laughs> okay. We're known as a crying couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we cried here. 
they did the marriage on their own as a very private thing between the two of them, right. which that was their choice. And so for us, it was And completely appropriate in my mind. I mean, it's not our business. Right, right. right. Vegas makes us happy. I'm glad we live here now because Vegas does make us happy. We have good stories. Yeah. We have a lot of good Vegas stories, don't we? Yeah, we do. That's just one of them. This time, because last time nobody, because we, we eloped. Did. Right. But this time we have um, one, two, three sets of cousins. Well, I'll tell you, I remember when they called and they said to us, hey, listen, we're going to have a renewal of our vows and we hope you could come. And we said, oh, we're going to be there for sure. You know, there was not a chance. All right, well, I'll give you a moment. Soak this all in. OK, okay. thank ready? you. All okay. right, thanks, Ashley. Sure. See you in a little bit. All right. What do you think? Well, Have a seat. been here before. We had no idea that they were doing this, having a renewal ceremony, until we received the invitation. That was just neat. It was special. Mm -hmm. And made me think, we should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being a lot bigger than this, maybe. Really? Are you getting nervous? A little no. nervous? <laughs> Well, you think I'm not going to say yes? A fun time with the party. <laughs> so 25 years ago, I had a little bit darker porn stash in here. And a little bit more, a little, little more bit more hair, hair. Just little a little. Hair. We got married at sunset because that's, you know, photographer, that's the goal now. We got to do things at sunrise or sunset. And I wasn't getting married at sunrise. Feels pretty good to be back here. Uh, it? It's pretty nice to reminisce. Yeah, it is. It's going to be yeah. fun to go through this one more time. And yeah. uh, I hope I remember more of this than I did of the last It's bringing time. back some pretty nice memories, that's for sure. Meanwhile, over at Viva Las Vegas Chapel, the bride-to-be has arrived. Thank you so much. Hope you have an amazing time. I hope you do. Thank you. Hey! Erica, you made it. Yes, I did. Is Stephen on his way? Stephen should be on his way. Okay, um, we have a half hour. Okay. You can get dressed in a half hour? I can definitely do that. Okay, good. Can I get some information from you first? Yes. Okay. Um, what are we wearing? I don't want you to know what I'm wearing. Oh, I don't want to know either. I know what he's wearing, though. Mm -hmm. So, how are you doing today? You okay? Um, yeah, I'm good. Are you nervous good? Nervous scared? Nervous, nervous good. Nervous good? Yeah, good. nervous good. Okay. You have to be a little bit nervous. A little bit. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a good nervous. Okay, good. Yeah. You kind of know what I'm wearing because you saw my skirt. I and did. your tie matches my skirt. And my tie kind of matches her skirt. It's really pretty. Come on in. You can. This here. And we can hang this right up on this hook. Oh. My top is black lace. You've seen it, but you haven't seen it on. Nope. All right, I'm slightly more nervous than I thought. <laughs> I hope it all comes together. I made my headpiece and my veil, so I hope it doesn't fall apart. For 30 minutes, that's it. And then it can all fall apart. Erica's veil falling apart should be the least of her worries. With Minister Ron playing catch up from several late services. So that it overcomes all of life's obstacles. Sir, your answer is no Margaret. Listen. Did you get that Margaret? Oh. You guys are very impersonators. Coupled with the fact that her guests have started to arrive at the chapel, and groom Steve is nowhere to be seen. Okay, so it's 4.16, and we haven't seen the groom yet, so maybe not to bother the driver, but it's always good to call the driver and say, what's your ETA, just in case. So let's see who's driving him. With Jamie on the case for the missing groom, hopefully the couple won't miss their time slot. day of BJ and Scott's renewal service, and after visiting the chapel they got married in 25 years ago, they've headed home to relax with friends before their sunset ceremony. Things, however, are not as relaxed downtown, where Steve and Erica's fans with the opera theme ceremony is set to take place. With the groom nowhere to be seen, guests waiting, and Minister Ron still performing a service, it leaves Erica's time slot hanging in the balance. That's really not that bad. You don't think so? I mean, I don't know. Little... Maybe the veil will cover it. <laughs> oh, you have a veil. Okay. I do. Up until before he met Erica, Steve was never one about marriage. 
So when he said he, want, he was wanting to get married and he proposed to her, I was impressed and I was shocked and I was, I told him, I was like, I'm proud of you. Oh yeah, definitely. It covers it? Yeah. All right, then I am good with this. Perfect. We've been happily married for two years mm -hmm. and I think what I, the similarities that I would point to were the, the ease with each other that they seem to have. Again, just meeting them for the first time, but I would normally be racked with nerves and then to actually just see them be present with each other feels very much like what we've had with each other all along. Yeah. So how are you feeling now that we're almost a few minutes into your ceremony? Um, <laughs> excited. Excited? Oh, yeah. I hope everybody made it. I really hope everybody made it. Oh. Yeah. With the start of the ceremony fast approaching, and the groom still nowhere to be seen. Minister Ron is free from his last service and is getting into character. Well, myself and Dia Webb, we're, she's playing Christine and I'm playing the Phantom. Uh, you're from the waist up, right? Yes. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. You know, it's uh, something that I always loved. And we've been doing it for a good, I don't know, 18 years. I don't know why today is so busy, but there's 15 weddings back to back and uh, we got three, well, we had one reception that wasn't written down right, so that was a surprise. So we had to pull that out of nowhere. And then we just did a reception here at Jim Morrison, which was Kalen. He was dressed up as Jim. And they're all in 60s outfits down there, hippie outfits doing their thing in the gazebo because they were supposed to be in the reception room, but I can't put them there because I've got topless ladies in that room doing the burlesque show. So it's not a good place for brides and grooms to be mixing. The show finishes at 8.30 or 9. By the time we get everybody out of there and change linens and clean all the stuff, but we're talking 11.30, midnight, you know. And if we're short now, I'll be doing cleaning up stuff, so. That's the life of a business owner. While Ron continues his transformation from the king of rock and roll to the monster of musical theater, our groom is still to arrive. And in her dressing room, Erica is becoming increasingly more nervous. My hands are shaking. Steve is probably excited and I would bet he's more nervous than I am. I encourage Steve and Erica to enjoy the day Enjoy the day of your wedding because it goes by so fast. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be getting married now. It's 4.30, it's a little after 4.30, and I am just finally finishing. I think Erica's gonna cry, and I think she's gonna giggle a lot. She giggles a lot when things are supposed to be serious, so I think there's gonna be some crying, and I think there's gonna be a lot of giggling. And she giggles a lot with Steve. Seems to be she really likes him. But I hope everybody's here. I hope Steve's here. But, okay. It should be okay, though. <laughs> With Steve proving as elusive as the Phantom, Erica better hope he appears in the shadows for their ceremony. Can you feel it coming? I've never been to a renewal of a marriage, and I think it's so exciting because it's getting us all together. We get to celebrate. Sitting here with you guys just half the party already. Yeah. It really is full circle. Romance is in the air in Las Vegas. I'm telling you, yes. I put on my original wedding ring this morning. Yeah. Saw this when I was getting out my other stuff to wear, and I'm like, I'm going to wear my original well, wedding ring. makes sense. So, yeah. There's going to be a lot of emotions going into this, because we cried at the last one. It was just yeah. the two of us now with everybody there. If we're she gonna... cries, I'm crying. Oh, yeah. That's all there is to it. <laughs> we're going to be blubbering idiots, I'll tell you that right now. And you had the original tie, but it looks like a clown tie now. It's like, <laughs> well, you know, it's it's not a, it was a, uh, a bow tie. <laughs> I want to see her cry. I want to see how emotional she can really get. Actually, I think what's going to happen is Scott's going to be the one who's going to cry. This couple actually a renewal of vows. And they said that they were actually married Beautiful. here. So they're coming back. Yes. And the only thing that they want is they want a traditional Irish blessing during the okay. ceremony. 
we made sure this time around that he says the same Irish blessing, yeah. right? The real reason for the Irish blessing Blessed. being told was would always say the Irish blessing before. At the beginning, yeah. Before so. dinner and stuff like that. You have the whole thing written down? Or yes. Part of it? Yes, I have, the, I have the whole thing down um, according to my research. So. so when we got married the first time, yeah. we didn't ask for anything special. No. Nope. And she just said it at the end of the ceremony. And we both looked at each other like, it was sort of like, yeah, wow. why? I'll talk to them a little bit before the ceremony just to verify that. Yeah. We have the same Irish blessing in mm -hmm. mind. I don't want to jip them, and especially since it's not coming from an authentic Irish. <laughs> we had a consultation yeah. and we found out that our minister, which is nothing because, wrong, but he's, he's Hispanic. He's right? Hispanic. I hope they're all right with um, the fact that I'm not technically Irish. I'm Irish-ish. <laughs> Uh, I'm a Mexican Irish. Which side of the family is Irish? Oh, you gotta go like really back in the lineage. Okay. But, uh, they, they clearly want that to be a part of their ceremony, yeah. so I want to make sure that I deliver on that. Meanwhile, with the venue being rapidly transformed for Steve and Erica's phantom theme ceremony, there is still no sign of the groom. I'm gonna cry. It's so real. Glad all my makeup's waterproof. I felt emotional all week. We haven't even been planning for that long, but it just seemed like this day was so far away. And I finally get to be with the person I'm meant to be with. It's pretty great. I wish there were tissues in here. With minutes until the start of their wedding, groom Steve has finally arrived. I see the groom, Steve is here, but he's out there talking to us as parents and stuff. But he doesn't appear to be in any rush. Off to the Opera House. We are encouraging people to wear masks. We're not wearing masks, no. but it would be kind right. of cool to look into the audience of people and see like a sea of masquerade style masks. Welcome to my humble abode beneath this magnificent opera house as we are gathered here today to exchange the wedding vows of Steve and Erica. Congratulations to both of you. Marriage is a beautiful and holy estate instituted in the time of man's beginnings. You both promise to let your love be very strong so that it overcomes all of life's obstacles. Steve, your answer to Erica. I do. Erica, your answer to Steve. I do. I think you are the absolute perfect person for me. You promise to love and honor and cherish each other, to always speak the truth, care for each other in sickness and in health, as you both have in the past. Erica. I do. Steve. I do. I think you're the most perfect person for me too. I like how we bounce ideas off of each other when we're just hanging out and how we can just kind of vibe really well together. I really like that. Do you both remember the very first night that you two met? Yes. yes. <laughs> now repeat after me together, if you will, please. To have and to hold. To, to have, have and to hold. hold. I like waking up next to you in the morning and giving you a kiss on the cheek before I go to work. That's, that's nice. I pledge you my faith and fidelity. 
I pledge you my faith and fidelity. I like the little, those little things you do, and they definitely feel feel nice and warm inside. The rings you're about to receive from one another, the symbols of an unbroken circle without beginning, without end, as you're now being joined together as husband and wife. May your love for one another be wise, pure, and eternal. So, place the ring. Yeah, I think about you a lot, and it makes me happy. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. You make me feel special. You are special. Praying that our love. Praying that our love. Shall never fade. Shall never fade. Lastly, do you, Steve and Erica, solemnly agree never to mask your feelings from one another? <laughs> yes. That's true, I do. And to always keep the music of the night in your heart forever. Yes. yes. Then by the powers vested in me, the phantom of the opera, I proclaim you to be husband and wife, sir. You may kiss your lovely bride. That was a exciting, lot of fun. It was really exciting and emotional. Yeah. It was a well done production on their end. It was. It was way cooler than I thought it was going to be. Anybody big smiles? I think it was lovely. It was very appropriate for the two, uh, Erica and Steve, because they love to do all the drama and the theatrics. When Steve and Erica told us that the wedding was going to be in Las Vegas, I was excited. When they told us what the theme was going to be, I knew it fit them, it fit her. It's a little different and, you know, it, it reflects the couple and it's their wedding, so they get to do what they want. Yeah, it was everything I could have ever imagined and it was just so overwhelming, but it was perfect. Yeah. Twenty-five years ago, BJ and Scott eloped to Las Vegas for an intimate wedding. But now the time has come for them to renew their marriage vows in front of their close friends and family. Hey, you, honey. Hey, hey, look how nice you look. A little windy here, huh? Couple of flowers, 25 years later. We made it. <laughs> we did it. We actually made it. We're doing We're it going, again. Huh? Yep. Well, you guess, no guess yet. Are they pranking us? I don't know, but they better show Do up. Do they know where they're going? Probably They're not. supposed to be here by now. It feels like 25 years ago all of a sudden. Does it to you? Yeah. It will, I, I guess it'll be different when everybody gets here, but I can only stand so long in these heels, so we got a time limit on this. Are you nervous? No. Well, why should I be nervous? <laughs> Maybe I won't say yes. That's your choice. <laughs> Whilst the couple wait for their guests, they go over the final details with their minister. So as you two walk down the aisle, take your time. From there, I can do the okay. Irish oh, prayer. Good. So okay. I have it written down here. I want to just run it by you okay. two sure. right. and see if this is exactly what you were looking for, yeah, if okay. you need me to change things up or All take right. things okay. out. All right. All right, so here we go. It says, may the road rise to meet you. May the may wind the road rise, rise up, up to meet you. you. Rise up to yeah, meet yeah. you, see? This is why I like yeah. to run this by you first. May the light of friendship guide your paths together. May the laughter of children grace the halls of your home. No, after 25 years and no kids, you really don't want to hear that, you know? <laughs> Hi, sir. Excuse me, are you guys here for Scott and BJ? Home? No, that's yeah. too long. Too long? Yeah. Yes. Perfect, so I'm actually the wedding coordinator, okay. and I can take you guys all to the chapel, okay? okay. We're going to make you do this right. Yeah, I am here for you. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll head to the chapel. Okay. May God hold you in the palm of his hand. Okay, right. so give me the whole thing. Take it from the top. From the top. <laughs> take one. Take one. That is more like take 15. <laughs> they told me that the first time they got married, they didn't have anyone here. And now that they're doing their renewal well, of they vows. They didn't call us. They didn't call you, no. <laughs> and until we meet again, 
may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Got oh, good. It. good. Thank you. Yes. Good deal. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> You know, we got dinner reservations at seven, so you Oh, we gotta do this yeah. chop chop? Okay, yeah, yeah, got yeah. it. <laughs> this is why we went by ourselves. This is why we didn't invite this anybody last, we time. last time. We are no drama people, and this is just a nightmare, isn't yeah. it? So we'll get through it. Let's go. Are you walking down the street or what? Did you happen to run? I'm going to do it too. Uh, too wrong. Yay, yay, yay. All right, go inside. We're not doing our own vows. And probably because if we did, I'd be blubbering even more than I would too. <laughs> but I don't think that I have to tell you what you mean to me. It's true. Could you know? that I love you and I always will love you because you make me a better person. We do, we make each other better. We do. I'm pretty excited that this is their 25th wedding anniversary and that they're renewing their vows because marriage is an important thing. And when you take your initial vows and you say, till death do us part, I think you should be serious about that. We support each other all the time. All the time. We're very supportive of each other. And we do what we have to to, to make it work. And, yep. and we do make it work. And we have fun together and we laugh together. And you make me laugh and you make me smile all the time. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Call me honey bunny. <laughs> that always comes out. I love you, honey bunny. <laughs> We're gathered here. really the kind that plan our future yeah. do we we just kind of let it happen and and i told scott i don't care where we live i don't care what we do as long as we're together we've had a it's true a very fortunate life um things have been very good for us yep. but it doesn't really matter to me it's not about the money it's not about the house it's not about anything it's about being together wherever we are yep. and that's what it's about and by the power vested in me by the state of nevada i pronounce you still husband and wife, and you may kiss the bride. Congratulations. Let's give a big round of applause. There you go. You know, it's amazing that you know, in a town where everything is fleeting, that this chapel is still here 25 years later. Yeah. What do you think about everybody being here? Uh, I like having the cousins here. Yeah, it was a little yeah. nervous. I mean, that's what we didn't I mean, do We didn't have too, family so. the first time. We didn't, so. They're pretty special. Right in the center, right there's perfect. The same kind of day, I never thought day. 25 years ago we'd be here again, you know, but here we are, right? So, Sunset light. Same time, same everything. Can you imagine getting hitched anywhere else but Las Vegas? No. No, because we this town... We always came to Vegas. This town is special for us, and it meant everything for us to be here first time, yeah. and everything the second time, right? And we're so here. I wouldn't change a thing. I love this town. <laughs>